Welcome to Smart Investing. In this video, we will give you a short introduction on how to analyze any stock in few seconds. Let's get started. Once you reach our homepage, you can easily search any stock, which you wish to analyze. Let's search Infosys. This will take you to the main analysis report for Infosys. In the first box, you will see six squares, which are color-coded for easy understanding. Click or hover on the first three squares, which represent long-term analysis, and you will see an explanation of what they mean. Clicking on the question mark icon next to the squares, will help you understand, what they represent. For long-term analysis, we use FVD model, which is an abbreviation for fundamentals, valuation, and debt. These squares represent long-term view for a company based on annual earnings, valuation and debt of the stock. This summary is suitable for investors investing in the market with a time horizon of more than three years. For banks, non-performing assets to advances ratio is considered, instead of debt. Click or hover on the next three squares, which represent short-term analysis, and you will see an explanation of what they mean. Clicking on the question mark icon next to the squares, will help you understand, what they represent. The short-term QPP model is an abbreviation for quarterly earnings trend, price momentum, and pledged shares. These squares represent short-term view for a company, which is suitable for traders taking positions in the market with a time horizon of less than three years. The next two rows show the end-of-day stock price and market cap updated daily by 7 p.m. IST. The section on the right will show the stock returns over one week, one month and one year, along with value of 10,000 rupees invested in stock versus Sensex, over a period of last few years. The next section lists our best-selling video course, Stock Market Investing Simplified, which will help you learn basics of stock market investing, in a very easy and fast manner. The section to the right lists the industry peers, and stock return comparison. Once you scroll below, each of the six color-coded squares, which we saw earlier, are now explained in detail using beautiful charts and underlying scores. The first one is fundamentals, which gives you the score of the stock within industry, as well as overall. The scores above 6, are color-coded as green, between 4 to 6, as yellow, and less than 4, as red, for easy understanding. The fundamental scores are derived basis various underlying parameters, such as, return on capital employed, which is ROCE, company size based on market cap, profit margins, growth, and cash flow from operations to sales ratio. The underlying ratios considered would depend on the type of industry of the stock. Moving on, the next one is valuation of the company, which gives you the score of the stock within industry, as well as overall. The green color would mean that the stock is undervalued, the yellow color would mean that the stock is fairly valued, and the red color would indicate that the stock is overvalued. The three widely used ratios are provided for easy reference. These are price to earnings ratio, price to book value ratio, and price to sales ratio. The next chart would show how the market cap has historically moved in comparison to the fair value, derived via three different models described in the next section. The next section shows the indicative fair value calculated via three valuation models, enterprise value to EBITDA ratio, enterprise value to sales ratio, and price to sales ratio. The table shows whether the current price in the market is trading at a premium or discount, and the quantum of the same. The next chart shows the historical premium or discount, at which, the stock has traded over the past few years. This chart is created, by considering the median of the fair value, calculated via three models for each of these years. The next section shows the price momentum of the stock over a duration of 1 month to 12 months. We have taken sharp ratio to calculate the same. The ratio above 2 would signify a good uptrend in the stock price for that duration. The 1 month ratio is considered in the top level 6 color coded squares, to capture the latest price momentum in the stock. We can also see the weekly trend on how the 1 month momentum is changing. The next section shows the debt analysis of the company via debt to equity ratio. For all non-banking industries, a ratio less than 0.4 is considered as good, ratio between 0.4 and 0.6 is considered as average, and a ratio greater than 0.6 is considered as bad. The average of last three years is considered to provide the color code. Next section shows the pledged shares of the company. 
Pledged shares less than 25% of promoter holdings are considered as good, those between 25% and 50% are considered as neutral, and those greater than 50% are considered as bad. The last section gives a quick analysis on the quarterly results and derives a quarterly trend based on one quarter and four quarter movement for revenue, operating profit, EBITDT ratio and net income. Quarterly trend score greater than 4 is considered as good, between 0 and 4 is considered as neutral, while less than 0 is considered as bad. This is how you can do a quick analysis of any stock quickly. Once you are used to the understanding of color codes, it will simplify stock analysis for you to a great extent. Apart from the individual stock reports, you can screen and filter stocks based on industry, fundamentals, valuation, and many other parameters. You can also compare up to three stocks. You can navigate to the video course, Stock Market Investing, Simplified, anytime using Learn tab. So, what are you waiting for? Become a better investor with smartinvesting.in.